First, constitutionality and independence of the judiciary. This goes right to the major flaw in the bill. Part 4 authorizes the federal court to issue a warrant to cease us to take measures that may contribute a right, contravene a right or freedom guaranteed by the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. This provision, in my view, is clearly unconstitutional and it will be struck down by the courts. The existing charter already has a built-in limitations clause authorizing reasonable limits where necessary in a free and democratic society, and proportionality applies to those limits based on almost 33 years of charter jurisprudence. If Parliament wants to invoke the notwithstanding clause, it is free to do so under this Constitution, although no federal Parliament has had the courage or the need to do so since the charter was proclaimed in 1982. But I ask you, why provoke an avoidable constitutional challenge? Canadian judges are fiercely independent and are not agents of the government who can be mandated to authorize measures at all costs to protect against terrorist threats. Federal court judges have carefully authorized or rejected wiretap applications since 1984 under existing Section 21 of the CESIS Act. I have seen or reviewed some of those applications and judicial decisions. The process of judicial control of wiretap warrant applications works today. Why, in drafting new parallel provisions in Section 12.1 and 21.1 of Bill C-51, respecting additional measures, do you need to instruct the judges to totally ignore the Charter and to allow CESAs to violate constitutional obligations in order to take these additional measures beyond wiretaps? This notion of Parliament authorizing a Charter breach, short of using the notwithstanding clause, is clearly unconstitutional and is not consistent with our constitutional tradition and the way in which Section 1 of the Charter operates. You can avoid this constitutional mess by redrafting Section 21.1 of Bill C-51 to provide that any warrant that permits CESAs to take measures thereunder will not contravene a right or freedom guaranteed by the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms.